The trailer we've all been waiting for, Forsaken DLC 4, is here, so let's watch you it. Alright, season there six, official trailer. Oh god, what have I done? Shake it off. We're gonna finish what you started. Get ready. The dance is blowing up. Oh wow. I I'm very impressed to see that. Alright, multiplayer maps. Looks good. Of course, Mason's here. We've got new weapons. Oh, red doors. Okay, that looks sick. But we're here for the zombies. Okay. This does look very nice, though. They're really bringing it out of here. Oh, my God. America. Okay. This is what the zombies map is going to be based on. So, and there's the new ARCXD. Okay. Up. This is like where... Okay, again, this is from campaign, but that's pretty sick. We want zombies. Come on, Treyarch. A brand new zombies experience. Strike team. Zach off as mission priority one. Get to him before Omega. A little further. Death perception. You see that perk? Okay. Portals from Firebase E. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. That thing's huge. <laughs> what? Oh, PhD slider. Oh, that perk machine looks sick. Somebody put this wonder weapon to work. Oh my god, that's sick. Madness is the only freedom. Adler, we have unfinished business. Okay, we gotta roll the zombies back again right now. Oh wait. Oh, the haunting of Verdansk is back. Oh my gosh. So let's slow this down. So here we go, Forsaken. This is the map. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks like we're going to start on the outside. We've got a portal over there, which will take us into the map. So this is basically the spawn point, just like with Firebase. -y. It's going to be a fairly large size spawn room from the looks of it. But you can see this amazing portal there. Let's continue on and let's see. So this is where our characters enter, I think. So let's see. Going frame by frame. Oh my god, have you seen what they've got written on there? Coming soon, Knack, Dirt, and Toten. What are you doing, Treyarch? So this is the America Town portion of the Red Light, Green Light uh, mission. So all of this is an American town destroyed uh, that we're going to be able to play as. So we can see Adler there, we can see the zombies. Man. So we've got crates. This is the outside. This is the spawn bit again. We can see the death perception there. We can see a better look at the perk in a moment. Look at that, man. For a full perk machine, we finally got it and it looks pretty awesome. But PhD, we want to see PhD. So as you can see, we're running. This is the checkpoint. So that goes from the spawn into the America Town section. All right, we can see Kravchenko lied written there in blood. Who could have written that? Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Who could have written that Kravchenko lied? That's really cool. Picking out all the little details here. And then as we can see, Adler and Mason, again, this is just crazy, isn't it? We've got these characters and zombies running towards this massive teleporter that we've seen tease. And out of it comes this thing, which has been leaked by Codtracker to be called the Abomination. It's a three-headed monstrosity, literally called the Abomination. It's got tongues. It legit looks like a Magua in a Nova Crawler. And then it's had too much to eat. And it is a bulky boy. Look at that. That looks absolutely frightening. It's got electrical currents over it. This is something that I noticed the first time that was a bit kind of like, what is going on here? So I don't know if this is just part of the America town, but a makeshift of the helicopter there, or if that's actually real. But we can see there's an open window here of the vortex below, which is going to obviously be where the Forsaken is going to come from. It's going to be exciting. So we've got zip lines just like from Mauda Toten, which is very cool. We just go back a second. You can see how high up we are here. It's interesting to work out exactly where we are in terms of this specific section that we're going to be zip lining down to, but this looks fantastic. And in the original version of this campaign level, there's also Burger Town with the Bubby mascot. I think they've very carefully hidden this out, but we've got the same Dorito sign. The Burger Town should be right there, as you can see on my mouse on the left. So wait, hang on. We can see it's there, which is awesome. But is Bubby there? I really hope so. But anyway, we scoot on down. We've got PhD slider. Look at that animation. What have we got going on there? That looks so cool. As we can see from what it does, it works like PhD slider from Black Ops 4. But it emits like a purpley sort of diarized liquefy liquid, which 
Honestly, I'm really excited about. That is amazing. And there we get the wonder weapon, the crystal axe. So we got one version of it, which is, of course, the axe. So let's watch it again in action. It slices through zombies. And then we've got this version here, which shoots actual, like, let's see, what does it actually shoot? Got the section here. I think it just shoots like a laser projection by the looks of it. That is awesome. But as we can see there, we look in the background, we can see that in the arcade of this area, so in the campaign mission, you literally sneak into this base and you're in an arcade and it looks like we might actually be able to play some of these arcade games. So hey, Spaceland 2.0 inside of Cold War Zombies. Who would have thought it, eh? But there we can see the attacks, the abomination there, some sort of lightning attacks coming out of all of its heads. Doesn't look very nice at all. And that's really all we get a look of for zombies. We get another shot coming up in a moment, I believe. There we go. And there's Burger Town. Yes, Burger Town's back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Imagine if Bubby is a thing within zombies. That would be insane. But let's watch the zombies all the way through again so we can hear it. The Zykov is mission priority one. That's what we're going to be doing. So we're not working for Kravchenko anymore, clearly. I'm going to be, I'm so excited for that. I think there's going to be more than just that thing coming through. Then we've got PhD Slider. Two amazing looking Someone perks, man. I mean, the Wonder Weapon just looks amazing. Just looks so good. And we see at the end that the Haunting of Verdansk is back. So the roadmap just got released for season six as well. So let's take a look at all of that as well really, really quick. If you go to zombies, we can see we've got Forsaken. We can see that three-headed menace, which we believe to be called the Abomination due to Cold Tracker tooting out. But we've got PhD Slider as a new perk and we can see that perk can. It looks fantastic. The Crystal Axe Wonder Weapon, the ARCXD and the Hand Cannon is coming as a support weapon to zombies as well. But then we've got the seasonal event, the Haunting, which begins October 19th, which is a limited time mode, rewards and more. And this is in within Black Ops Cold War. So we've got the haunting event within Cold War, but probably also in Warzone. And then for new weapons, which you may or may not have noticed in the trailer, we've got a lever action shotgun called the 0.410 Ironhide. We've got the Grav, which is the Galil returning, which is going to be incredible. A battle axe melee weapon, a Lapa, which looks to be a new SMG, and the hammer and sickle melee weapon, which is fantastic. I mean, that map gives me a little bit of Ascension vibes, so getting a hammer and sickle is going to be awesome. And there's a few new bundles as well, which includes a zombie Zapper Mastercraft, which is essentially a ray gun. On, is that a shotgun or is that an AR? I don't know, but that actually looks unreal. And if you guys are going to be picking that up or the battle pass next week, be sure to use code Dalek in your store as that would be greatly appreciated. Now, I think we're all expecting like a dedicated trailer for the Forsaken map to release rather than it be within the season six gameplay trailer. But I mean, that's fine. We're getting this map in literally one week today, which is insane. There could be a trailer all on its own coming out nearer to the release next week. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. But man, let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. Drop a thumbs up if you're excited for this. A year ago today, we got the reveal of Cold War Zombies and now the reveal of the final map. And it looks very, very promising. But I'm going to catch you guys for another video very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts below. Catch you soon.